Howdy, Earthaparians, it's Woody. Today, River Dog and I are gonna show you guys how to fill this raised bed with amazing organic materials for under $50. Come on, River Dog, let's go. We're gonna fill our raised beds with four main materials. Rotten wood, gardening soil, and compost, and then we'll top it with a good layer of mulch. We'll also mix some mulch in, in with the rotten wood in the bottom as an inoculator. Let's get started. This material will act as a wick at the bottom of the bed in a hugoculture fashion. It will also add minerals, nutrients, and be a place for microbes and fungus to propagate. And it also is free and it takes up a lot of space. We're able to use way less soil this way. The soil underneath it here we had to purchase at a materials yard. It's just under $50. So if this works out as we plan, we will only have $47 in these materials all together. I really like these big ones. You can see this fungal and mycorrhiza, the white, it's just starting to fall apart. This is the perfect kind of materials for inoculating a bed. I don't mind these ants being here. They're just gonna break the wood down even more. We have a few others of those here, the homestead, and I do think they're my favorite kind of bed. They seem to be producing longer, with more nutrient loads, better vegetables, more water retention. All of those things are beneficial when you're starting to grow your own food. So I'm gonna jump in, mash a few things down, just kind of even it out, because our next layer is gonna be layered with mulch. And so the more I can get kind of an even layer here, the more consistency throughout the bed we'll have in theory. This is where a good pair of red wings come in handy. Part two of our first layer, we're gonna put more tree mulch in. Tree mulch is essentially a free material. I get it from the arborists in my neighborhood and I know exactly what the makeup is gonna be of the material in the bottom. I can imagine how powerful it's gonna be with this moisture and this mycorrhiza and the rotten wood combined with the rotten wood, this small material combined with the large material. It's just biodynamics and we're seeking all kinds of biodynamics all of the time in permaculture designs. We're looking for layers of moisture kind of a sponge, a lasagna layering of materials that takes up space. It builds soil from underneath with microbial action. It tears down the wood, turns those pieces into soils, and it gives us aeration, a lot of water storage, but mostly the microbial life that's down there and the wicking capabilities of the materials at the bottom. This raised bed is gonna love this mixture and the vegetables and seeds are gonna love the soil we're building here for under $50. The next layer is the soil layer, the organic soil that we got from the materials yard for $48.99, an equivalent amount of material from one of the big box stores or a landscape supply store would cost well over $100 and probably closer to $200 if you were to purchase this much in the bag form. You're also not using the wasteful packaging and the extra plastic. This is a landscape mix, gardening mix, that has a lot of organic matter, just the right amount for gardening and general purpose. And we're gonna add some mineral nutrients to it, some rock minerals at the end. But for now, we're just gonna make it our big next layer. 
And this is really going to be our growing medium. The next layer we're going to add to the raised bed is compost. We're actually going to layer it so much as mix it in with the top layer of soil. You can get compost from the same place that we got the materials, the soil building materials for, but we have our compost pile here on property at our homestead. So we're gonna mine, find a place inside of here that we've had some compost making or cooking for maybe three or four months. We gotta find the right spot. And we're gonna fill up a couple of wheelbarrow loads full and put that on with the top layer of soil. This is where the gold is mined. One more way to save money on this bed. This is gonna keep us from having to spend 30 or $40. The white fungal material is mycorrhiza. It's exactly what we want to inoculate our bed with. Oh yeah, good stuff right there. We'll mix in some inoculants, some different materials with this, and it'll make for a really nice top dressing. It's about 130 degrees in my hand. I can feel it. It smells good. It almost has a, a sterile smell to it, which is what happens in a compost pile at 128 to 130 degrees. It cooks out all the bacteria, the bad bacteria, and leaves kind of the microbial life. And once we pull it out and it cools down, it'll be a perfect food source for mycorrhiza and the microbial layers that we're trying to build on top of this bed. If you want to learn more about how we compost here on the homestead, follow the link below to our composting video. So we filled up our wheelbarrow full with our compost pile. It's got a part compost, part living mulch. It wasn't totally cooked into compost, but I'm okay with that. I like the mixture, I like the way it smelled, and then I built this little ramp on the end of our bed to be able to come up and go right into our bed when we save a lot of labor to this bed. So I'll just throw this out. Oh, this is looking so beautiful. What you think, River? Come on. <laughs> Let me scratch first. Come on. Look up here. What is it? What is it? It's River Dog approved. And we got ourselves an abundant raised bed garden with the potential to grow hundreds of pounds of food in one area. So this is how we fill our raised garden beds here at Earth Aparian. We start with our Hugoculture rotten wood layer on the bottom. We add tree mulch, our soil landscape gardening mix, and then we mine from our compost pile and add our compost living mulch to the very top dressing. If you'd like to learn more about how we built this raised bed, subscribe to our channel. I'm an Earth Aparian. You're an Earth Aparian. We'll see you next time.